Hi, I'm Paris Desai from Beyond Accounting Coaching Services, Brampton, Canada. Presenting one video lecture for CPA Common Final Exam, September 2023. Strategies and tips to pass the exam at the first attempt. My name is Paris Desai and my website is www.cpafinal.com The CPA exam, particularly the common final exam, is of three days. The day one exam is mainly related with Capstan 1 module case and the Capstan 1 case is mainly focusing enabling competency. Therefore, report will focus enabling competency in depth and technical competency up to level 1. The Capstan 1 case is basically related, you know, at, at, of about <coughs> 40 pages in length and related with a huge investment where you are required to select one out of several alternatives. The exam is of 4 hour and basically the background of the case is related with background of the Capstan 1 case. So keep this thing in mind. The enabling competency are problem solving and professional judgment, leadership, ethical, communication and etc. Capstan 1 case is mainly related with problem solving issue. About first 20 pages of the Capstan 1 case is related with the background of the case. In exam you will also get the same. However, you can keep this in your mind to save the time while writing the final exam of day 1. You are required to prepare your answer in the report format and mainly in three main part. Prepare your answer in Word and Excel in report format that is very important and you can create automatic index in Microsoft Word so that you are not required to prepare the index. The three parts are situation analysis, analysis of issues and recommendation. The situation analysis, don't try to spend more time on this. Write briefly on following main point, mission and vision statement. If there is a change in mission vision, also try to mention about that. SWOT analysis, that is strength, weakness, opportunity and threat. You can find this all from first 15 pages of your case, particularly from the background of the case. Political, technical or environmental factor, if it is affecting in taking your final decision, which is also called pistol analysis. Internal and external factor, if it is affecting to your making a decision, case success factor and try to do the financial statement analysis particularly of balance sheet which is given it to you, work out some financial ratio and try to compare with the industrial average. The second important part is the strategic and operational issues. You will find about four strategic issue and three to four operational issues. For strategic issue, you are required to perform quantitative and qualitative analysis and your conclusion, your recommendation. The strategic analysis, particularly the quantitative analysis, you are required to use the Excel sheet. You can copy down your Excel working in the Microsoft Word so that it will be easier for marker to check your answer. In Excel, try to see that your calculation must be presented in a manner that Markham can easily understand and follow. And the last part is your recommendation. Decide your decision criteria in, main, in line with the mission and vision and provide your recommendation based on your analysis. You may select one strategic option related with capital investment and you can also recommend one more 
if same is in line with the decision criteria profitable and do not require any further capital input you can use the split screen for easy working and saving of, of your time suppose if you are accustomed in doing such work your pass or fail is based on your holistic approach solution for the case as a whole remember this thing the day one exam is assess pass or fail based on your total judgment you know the judgment is important decision is important your total solution is important not particular criteria or issue you know so keep this thing in mind sometimes student are also asking me okay, how they can allot four hour of time on different part of day one cases because some student are you know finding shortage of time in writing the full answer in my view you can go like this reading identifying and highlighting issue and important point you can spend 30 minute situation analysis you can spend 30 minute for strategic issue you can pass two hour three to four operating issue you can spend 30 minute your final recommendation you can spend 15 minute and you can review or answer in the last 15 minutes so this is the breakup of four hour you can just try to make practice and see how you can write down your answer in four hour another pass or fail is your day two and day three exam so for day two and day three exam for each case analysis you try to write your answer with iar approach see day two exam is of five hour and day three exam is of four hour the day two exam is again a one case analysis of around 50 pages and you are required to identify various issues related with financial accounting management accounting and your chosen role you are required to choose one role out of four we can discuss this in my next slide so for case analysis use the iar approach identifying analyzing which alternative and effective and well justified recommendation for audit it and ethics follow the wir approach weakness implication and recommendation start your answers through identifying the type of company whether it is a public private ccpc means canadian control private corporation not for profit corporation and or government organization along with applicability of ifrs or cpa handbook section this is very very important because sometimes students are mixing the standard between private and public so first of all try to identify and whatever you write down below that must follow the same thing marker will be evaluating the quality of your response will like to see whether you grasp the key issue in the case key issue means the main issue were able to problem solve analyze integrate prioritize and finally communicate effectively in day two day three exam you are also required to particularly in your day three you are required to find the breadth of the issue also suppose if one issue related with financial reporting has a significant effect on taxation you are also required to identify taxation issue as well how this day two and day three exam is marked in your examination this is also very very important to pass day two and day three students should answer answer with sufficient with aggregate all issue level one depth in management accounting or financial reporting level two you are required to reach up to the competent grade c depth of issue selected role level three competent grade c breadth of the issue level four reaching competency student must reply satisfying all four level in all major issue now you will ask me what exactly is major issue so major issue are related with you know the uh, passing grade decided by the cpa exam board for each exam it is for each exam it is 
the same thing is little different but on an average you can say it is around 65 percent so out of all issue in 65 percent issue you are required to reach a competent grade c then you will able to pass level one in day two exam particularly in management accounting and financial reporting you are required to reach up to the competent grade level c depth of the issue that is called level two similarly in your role base you are required to select one role out of four that is finance taxation performance management and the fourth one is strategy and governance and you can select one out of that and sorry it is the fourth one is the audit and you can select one out of them which is your chosen role and you are required to reach up to the c level in various competency in your chosen role that is level three breadth of the issue you are required to reach up to the competent rc level the breadth of the issue means as i told you if one issue is related dependent on, on the another issue like suppose if you have identified financial reporting issue and that issue is um, significant effect on taxation then taxation will become the breadth of the issue so that mostly will find in your day three exam and then if you reach up to rc level then you will pass in the level four to pass the day two and day three you are required to pass in all level one two three and four one most important thing which you must remember that in the breadth of the issue particularly in your day three exam you will find only three issue out of which you are required to pass two issue particularly suppose if your chosen role is audit then taxation will become a breadth of the issue finance will become the breadth of the issue in level three strategy and governance become a breadth of the issue in level three and all this breadth of the issue out of the three issue you are required to pass in two if you may not able to pass in in uh, uh, out of the three issues suppose if you may not able to pass in two then the whole day to day three exam you are required to write again so keep this thing in mind because you will fail in level four many students i have seen they are passing the level two level three level four but they are unable to reach at level one and therefore they are again required to write the exam again so try to keep this thing in mind this is also very very important before you prepare for your final exam i have done an analysis of last may 2022 exam particularly for day two and day three just to explain you okay, how many issue you may face in your exam in september so you can see from this in day two exam they have asked 12 issue two issue from financial reporting four issue from management accounting and in your chosen role there were six issue so there are 12 issue in all in the day two in day three exam you can see that case one is five issue case two is seven issue and case three six issue so you can say in total there are 18 issue in day three exam and you can see from here that you know in financial reporting and management accounting you will find six issue in all you know uh, that is you can say about from day two and day three combined together while in case of finance audit taxation and strategy you, you are you are finding about three issue you know that is the breadth of the issue which i told you so in all you know you are required to identify 12 issue in day two and about 18 issue in day three so keep this thing in mind because students mostly find shortage of time in completing day three exam so try to make practice you know how you can do these three cases in day three within the time limit by identifying all 18 issue the marker's comment in earlier exam that is also very very important that many students had provided a pointwise response like bullet without analysis due to shortage of time so keep this thing in mind okay, you are not required to provide your analysis in bullet form 
you are required to explain this suppose if you are copying down from you know the handbook section or from income tax act you are required to explain the same you know copy from handbook without adequate explanation see so you are required to explain the same thing irrelevant and misleading discussion and that will again you know create shortage of time because you are technical you are you are not competent in your technical knowledge right and lacking time particularly in day three exam in particular which i told you so see these are the important thing you should keep in mind suppose if you find suppose you need some further coaching further guidance i have already written one summarized book for cpa cfe final exam 2023 which will be very very useful because the book published by cpa is very very lengthy and you are normally remaining very busy with the family with the job so my book will be definitely i hope you will find very useful it cost 185 dollar you can buy it and suppose if you need any further coaching further guidance particularly for indian and pakistan chartered accountant who are coming directly and being exempted in the all earlier module they can definitely come that will definitely helpful to pass this exam at the first attempt thank you bye